Salute to the peoples, man. T-Bone Blast on the check-in. Um, boy, oh boy, it's going to be a bang out in the star tonight. Salute the best star. Salute the big fruit. Salute the Rado. Salute the Mano. Salute to my boy Reg, Tupac. All my best star guys. Salute. A lot of people don't know. I was actually born in the style. And um, my family moved. I'm born in 75. My family moved to the Ville in 77. They said housing told my mom she'd only be there for about a year. Because my mom's, you know, my mom's and my pops, they grew up on, in bed style. My mom's lived in 336 Lexington Avenue, Lexington and Ocean. My pops lived on Green Avenue. So when they got their apartment in Van Dyke, it was supposed to be for a year. But I think they was just telling people that to get them in there. Nevertheless, that's where we was at. I'm I'm Brown villain, hands down. All my first was in Brownsville. But together, Brownville, Bed-Stuy, Crown Heights, East New York, Fort Greene, Red Hook, Bushwick, Flatbush, um, Coney Island, et cetera, et cetera. We all Brooklyn, 718. Shout out to St. Laz. St. Laz got this channel, Tap In, St. Laz. Where he um, provides a platform where brothers could talk about their stories, their experiences on Rikers Island, up north, and so forth. And these stories, you know, why you why they're entertaining. Each one of them got jewels, and they come from different perspectives from various people. And these people get to share their experiences, and you get what you get from them. I would hope that you would get an experience that you don't want to experience. Um, you hear a lot about the Brooklyn versus Bronx War. That was a big topic. I first came through in 92. By the time, September of 92 to be exact. And by the time I came through, that war was pretty much, other than a few isolated incidents, that, month, that war was pretty much over. From what I understand, Brooklyn won. I'm from Brooklyn, so of course, I'm going to applaud to that. But here's the thing. After Brooklyn did what they did, Brooklyn, while there was nowhere and nobody else to really go at, they go at each other. That's what we do. We do it in the town, and we do it in the prisons. And that was the case with Fruquan and Rado. Both from the star. Both was guys that when I came through the building, they was already there. I learned from each. I learned how to jail from each. And um they had a search, they had a situation. Where um, there's different sides, but there's one thing that everybody agree on. Rado lost two rings. Both sides agree to that. Did he lose them because, um, did he lose them due to him letting somebody hold it on a visit? And they slow dead in them, or did he lose it on some strong um, Brooklyn shit? Dope fiend, ring slid off the finger. That's where the story defer. Um, along a couple of, along with a couple of other um, 
things or whatever. I'm hoping that these two brothers, this happened in 1992. That's 30 years old, 30 years ago. These brothers, Fruquan got a show called The Big Fruit Show. Tap in. These brothers is going to discuss that situation. Another thing they both agree on that something did occur in that two building. What occurred? That's yet to be heard. But this is LG and NA Rock, who, from what I understand, have a long history of back and forths. And sometimes it spills over into the prison system, such as this. But I don't think this had nothing to do with that. This is just some random shit. But these brothers, 30 years later, is going to sit down for the first time and discuss it somewhere around like 10 o'clock on a big fruit show on YouTube. Tap in. Fruit is going to um, be talking while Rado is going to call in or Fruit might call Rado. Rado. But they're going to have a discussion. And they're going to discuss that incident. And God willing, it will have a positive resolution. Because that's, just what, that's what this is all about. It's already been done. These stories and got a lot of adversaries together. Let's make that the case this time. This message is Brooklyn approved. Salute.